tonight from Las Vegas, Nevada. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. see Derek Carr and the Las Vegas Raiders taking on Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens. NFL football has come to Southern Nevada as we are in the menacing new Allegiant Stadium here in Las Vegas. The atmosphere here electric. No matter the venue, the home folks love their silver and black. They are fired up as their Raiders get set to face off with the Baltimore Ravens. Jalen Richard now on the return. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The Raiders set to go to work behind their veteran quarterback, and that's Derek Carr. And one of the things that I think that Derek Carr has really improved in doing since college, his ability to stay in the pocket, things swirling around him, find the right guy, and deliver the ball with accuracy. Derek Carr has great touch when he throws the football. This is Jalen Richard, and this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. First rep of the game for Josh Jacobs. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game, so what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, it's nothing but room to run. Third play here, this opening drive as they're up against a third and five. Working from the gun, it's Carr. And he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. Matthew Judon in there to take him down. It always helps for a visiting team to come in and set the tone on defense. In fact, when we talked with them prior to the game, they said they wanted this home crowd to feel like they had to hide their valuables when they were in town. <laughs> well, the home crowd quiet now early. See if their offense can take over and get some points on the board. On fourth down, A.J. Cole comes on to punt. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt, and the Ravens set up well to begin their drive as it'll begin in enemy territory already. So here are the Ravens with great field position to start out. Commanding the offense will be Lamar Jackson, the electric quarterback out of the University of Louisville. Allow me a second here to gush because in his college career, 
the only player in NCAA history to rush for over 1,500 yards and pass for over 3,500 yards in a season. And he did it twice. That's pretty good. That's really good. <laughs> Yet he only won the Heisman Trophy once. They'll start with the option. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. Well, sometimes as a running back, you've got to be able to improvise when the hole's not where you expect it to be. But in this case, there wasn't any improvisation that he could do that was going to work. Kind of like if you're trying to be a comedian on open mic night at the improv, and you run into a tough crowd. They'll run for the first time with J.K. Dobbins. A nice opening right away as he'll maneuver his way up to the 32-yard line. A gain of 13. It's a first down. Well, I can certainly tell my age, partner, because when I was a kid, running backs like J.K. Dobbins with over 2,000 yards in their final season in college, they went early in the draft. Instead, he somehow lasted until the second round. But how great is it to get a guy with that ability who can run it inside, run to the perimeter, and catch the football out of the backfield? To be able to get him in the second round, that's what I call a steal. On first and ten, it's Jackson. And he's going to be taken down back around the 35-yard line. Credit the sack there to Arden Key. Boy, he came in off the edge so quickly there. Look out, because that's exactly what it was being shouted by the offensive lineman to his quarterback because he had no chance to block him. Second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Another try after the first down sack. Jackson. Jackson. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. They'll try to run for it with Dobbins. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. He needed three. He got two. Now that'll set up an interesting situation here on fourth and a yard. Well, every now and then we have to let a cliche fly, partner. And in this case, what do they say in the NFL? Your best ability is often your availability. This is an extremely durable kid coming out of Ohio State. Carried the ball every time they even thought about running it wore down defenses and able to break big runs late in games jk dobbins going to baltimore an absolute perfect fit so on fourth down here's the ravens pro bowl kicker justin tucker out onto the field from the right hash this from an even 40 yards out tucker's kick is good and the ravens strike first at three zip makes the score ravens three raiders nothing A lot of energy in this building tonight, but the opening drive produces three, maybe quiets them just a bit, at least momentarily. Just a little, right? That's all you're asking for, right? Things just getting started. You know they haven't taken the momentum totally here, but at the same time, they like what they've done here in the early going. Justin Tucker now following the main field goal set to kick it away. shy of the 30. The Raiders take over first and 10 at their own 28 yards. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. Now let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands, and maybe the offense will move a little bit Sometimes better. Sometimes it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play, yeah. That too. 
Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. From the gun, he'll set up to throw. This throw is going to be incomplete. Darren Waller, the intended receiver, but it'll be second down. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. Now left side, a completion who's tied in. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one good for 26 and a first down. Almost not fair. The big guy running the corner route, being able to lean and push and get to where he wants. So how do you stop it? A lot of times you want to have a linebacker on him, a bigger body guy who can handle him physically. But a lot of times that doesn't work as well because his quickness often wins the route. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 47. Carr going to give it to Jacobs. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, no, partner, I don't think it's any secret that any running back wants to be able to see a hole open so that he can gallop through it. But in this case, he had to slow down. There was really no hole there. And he took a big hit in order to get that one yard. On second and nine, Carr. Throw left side complete. That's Jacobs. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. A gain of two. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back and it could turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. Throwing his car on third down. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he is going to have the Raiders' first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. After one on EA Sports. Ravens three, Raiders nothing. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Back to the running game with Jacobs. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. Ball carrier. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. On second and seven, Carr. The open man here, Renfro. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. It's a gain of five. Brings up third and two. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. Trying to run for it with Jacobs. And he will have a first down at about the 21-yard line. Able to get what they need to keep the drive going with a six-yard pickup on third down. But they're getting ready to go to work now in prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. First down, they go with Jacobs again. 
call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. If you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, a guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Shotgun now for Carr. And quickly into the hands of Waller. And the Raiders are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. First down, Raiders, Carr to Waller. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it. Sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. Here's Jacobs. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instincts, being able to diagnose runner pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed out hard there. He was ready for that running play. One more time with Jacobs. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks. And that one ended up going backwards. This has been a long drive. You got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? From the gun, it's Carr. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. Well, so a drive that spans all that time, and yet you may only come away with three points here. Well, your defense, all right, they actually like these long drives. They get to rest over on the sidelines for a while, but when you're not finishing with points in terms of touchdowns, that's frustrating. They've got to figure out how to close out these long drives and get sixes instead of threes. Good kick by Carlson is good. field goal, but that was a 14-play drive to get three. It's like you're going negative. On I was. I was. It sounds like, sounds like you're thinking the three is just not that good. I think people say that we're negative sometimes. <laughs> so. Well, here's the deal. Getting the three is good. Obviously, you would think on a 14-play drive, you're going to get six out of it, but that type of a drive can pay dividends later on because you might wear the defense down. Your field goal is all we've had so far. 3-3 three, three now as the kick is away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. At their own 19-yard line. Baltimore set to take over here for their second possession of the game. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. They'll start with a handoff to Dobbins. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. On the carry for First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking. But the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game.
We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half, one that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side. So his job's a little bit easier for this halftime. We need to get the coach some highlights here. Yes, we do. Trying to get it to Willie Sneed there, and it's third and short. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense that that fell harmlessly to the ground. Jackson looking to throw on third. Open man is the tight end, Nick Boyle. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It's a pickup of 11 at a Baltimore first down. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. From the gun, it's Jackson. Catches Marquise Brown. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Ravens. First down now, but that clock rolling. Again, Jackson. And some space. Jackson hit, and he lost the football. And the Raiders pick it up. And he's able to get it back to the 41-yard line. Had some good yardage there, too, before he fumbled that football, Charles. Yeah, just think about it this way. Running backs, as a general rule, they kind of know when the end of a run is near, and you notice how they cover up, right? They protect the football. Sometimes quarterbacks forget that out in the open field. After a while, you start to wonder, does the running back coach visit the quarterback coach and say, hey, I can help you with this. We can protect this and make sure we keep the ball. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. So after the fumble recovery, it's Carr. That ball is caught. Avalon right side. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. A gain of 32 that time. But they didn't ease into that drive right out of the turnover. They go for the big shot downfield and hit it. A lot of teams have that opportunity, but not every coach is going to green light that type of a play call. I love their aggressiveness. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. From the gun. Carr. He's going to find and complete it to Renfro. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Operating from the gun. Carr. This will be caught just inside the 10. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Kicker fest so far, all points via field goals. They're hoping to change that right here. Car to throw again. Oh, he can't hang on. It was a dream chance for any D lineman to possibly get a pick, but instead it falls down incomplete. Leads to I know in every game we do, we talk about momentum. That was a momentum play lost. And now there could be a letdown because they didn't get the interception. Yeah, you could almost hear the collective gasp on the sideline as he could not come up with that football. 
Back in the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Again, it's Carr. Fine work by the Baltimore defense to help bring up fourth down. How about the defensive stand here from first and goal, three straight incompletion. Yeah, I think people are wondering why didn't they try and run it at least once in there. But once the first incompletion happened, it's almost like they were committed to throwing the ball from then on out. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. This just a 24-yard attempt. The kick by Carlson is good. And the Raiders jump out to a 3-0 advantage. Raiders 6, Ravens 3. Well, the drive ends in just three, but they'll take it. Looks like they'll head to the locker room barring something unfortunate in front on the scoreboard. Yeah, they may not be jumping up and down and celebrating because they have the lead, but still, any little momentum in a game like this is important to a team. And they'll feel real good about going in and regrouping, knowing that they are out in front. After the made field goal, Carl Sinell sets up to kick this away. From the six. He takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. 26-yard line. Now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. And last time the turnover on the fumble, and they were in enemy territory, so that had to be very frustrating. Down on the scoreboard here, can't do it again. You nailed every part of what was frustrating. <laughs> Down on the scoreboard had a drive going, had pushed it past the 50-yard line, so they felt like they were in striking distance. And to come away with nothing, not a good feeling at all, to put it mildly. Now they can't afford to do that again. Yeah, now can they get that bad taste out of their mouth here? Jackson on first down. Over the middle here to Brown. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. From the gun, Jackson. Brought in left side by Snead. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Jackson from the shotgun. And this one caught by Des Bryant. Now a signal and a timeout call. As it comes with nine seconds to go in this first half of play. Now the Raiders call on a nickel set for third down. Jackson will throw again. And he's got Snead. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Jackson to Snead that time. First down, Baltimore. Now Justin Tucker. He has hit from 61 in his career, so he has the leg for this. They spot it on the midfield stripe, so it is a 60-yard attempt here. And this is good. It was running out of gas there at the end, but he winds up getting just enough on it. And that will tie things up as we head toward halftime. 
And that right there is something we've seen, oh, I don't know, 15 times in NFL history. That will officially go down as a 60-yard field goal. And everything has to be absolutely perfect for this to have any chance. He's got to get it out low and really drive through it. And I tell you, that was one heck of a kick, one heck of a decision on the sideline to even try it as well. Justin so back even at six apiece as the kick's away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Well, the white flag coming out as they line up to kneel on it. The final second ticks by, and that's going to do it for the first half of play. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports halftime report. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. But they are all even to this point. So to see if either side can pull away, let's get you right back out to Brandon and Charles for the start of the second half. All right, Coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. the 26 yard line just across the 25. Ravens take over first and 10 at their own 26 yard line. Up come the Ravens now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. Yeah, both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review so to speak because everyone has someone assigned to how did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. This time, Jackson will throw it. Quick slant to Brown. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Slant route's effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball. But when you have a receiver of that stature, you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. You don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. And the Raiders call on a nickel set here for third down. From the gun, Jackson. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. I gotta say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're gonna throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Jackson's going to look to run it. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half. And that trend is continuing here.
Jackson on the give to Dobbins. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Third down, now even tougher. Third and 13 after that loss of a yard. Well, they went back to him, but the results were similar, so I highly doubt that he'll get another opportunity here on third and long. two plays indicative of how things have gone for them just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points he's going deep for Brown and that's caught inside the 30 and he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion able to convert on third and 14 a terrific play call he had to figure they take a shot downfield on third and long so the old cliche came into mind right away for me who wants it more you always hear about receivers, you hear about their hands, their moves, their speed. How about the positioning and the desire to go get that one out of the air? So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. What a luxury to have a guy like this who can not only spell your starter, but can come in and keep drives going. Brings up second and three at the 20-yard line. On second down, a run with Dobbins. And he's going to be close to a first down as he gets this to the Raiders' 15-yard line. At five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Right back to Dobbins on first. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice gain like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. On second down, it's Edwards. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. A field goal would get him the lead, but that's not what they're shooting for as they come up on third down. Operating from the gun, Jackson. They'll roll him out right, taking matters into his own hands, and he picks up four yards and a first down. Jackson with a handoff to Dobbins on the option. And he pushes forward but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. Short of the goal line. He gets it halfway there with that run. I think you play up tempo, get right back on the line of scrimmage, and ham rattle him again. Second and goal from the one. They'll try to run with Dobbins. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He lost two there, and it's third down.
One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. touchdown yet you better believe they're determined not to here on third and goal Jackson gonna run and he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown touchdown Lamar Jackson a three-yard run as he kept it himself and the Ravens have broken the tie well, that was all Lamar Jackson all the time on that drive, both through the air and in the end with the touchdown run. Yeah, how about him doing things a little bit on the reverse side there, Brandon, because he softened him up throwing the football and opened up the running lanes. And when he gets a little bit of a sliver, he's gone. And that's exactly what he did there. Justin Tucker for the extra point. The extra point. And it's up and good to extend the lead to 13-6. That one was an extended drive, 14 plays all told. And it was capped off by the touchdown run that came from Lamar Jackson. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. At their own 25-yard line. So out come the Raiders. And now after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. come up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. He's back to throw here to start the drive. And a double team and it's intercepted. Picked off by the football, Marcus Peters. And the return stops at the 39-yard line. Brandon, offensively, this has been a tough day for him. Trying to find a place to throw the football. It's been extremely difficult. I've got to give a lot of credit to the secondary, especially the corners, who've had the receivers on lockdown. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. Another important fourth quarter series coming up. That last INT helping to maintain their slim advantage. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. After the interception, here's Jackson. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Hollywood Brown, the intended receiver, and it's second down. I know you're thinking it, but I'll just go ahead and say it to give you an idea of how sharp he's been in this game. Just a second incompletion, and we're in the fourth quarter. He has been locked in, laser-focused all throughout this one, hasn't he? Certainly has, and he's gotten some help from his receivers as well. They also are locked in. Yeah, the drops have been at a bare, bare minimum. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. All right, that's a decent game there, but it hasn't been his best game overall. So I wonder what the mindset is of his team. Do they want him to handle the football and try and close this game out? Or are they going to make an alternative plan and maybe go in a different direction? Uh, I think they need him, and this is his time to shine. The Raiders. 
Ravens on third down. They've been excellent. Six for seven. This is third and seven. To throw is Jackson. And the Raiders have got him. Malik Collins coming in to drop it for a loss of eight. And it also brings up fourth. Well, the beauty of screen passes is they take a little time to develop, and they can often hit big. But sometimes they take too long to develop, and sometimes you get sacked. Yeah, what's perfectly called for a defense to attack a screen? Typically a blitz. And even though people think that the screen operates against the blitz, if you have the blitz called and you still cover the screen, that allows your blitzers to get there. Here's Sam Cook now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. No returning this one. It sails out of bounds, and they'll spot it right at the 20. Derek Carr and the Raiders set for their next possession. And the interception that ended their previous drive, that might be one we look back on and say that was the turning point of this game. Hey, partner, guess what? There's still time for a few more turning points in this ball game. They're only one score down. Yeah, true. I mean, we could have some twists and turns. Stay tuned. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at the 20. He'll set up the throw from the gun. He'll find his running back here, Richard. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. It's a pickup of six. A good way there to have him bounce back from the interception last drive. Something underneath, a little bit of rhythm going. I know the best ones in the league have supreme confidence, but every now and then, you need a little booster, don't you? This is their way of protecting him and bringing him back, and then they'll turn him loose later, I would think. From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. Working from the gun, it's Carr. That's caught by Waller out left side. That's all good for only a couple and brings up third down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. The Raiders on third down. Two for five to this point. This time they face a third and two. Here's Jacobs. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. That's good for a loss. It'll be a pickup of just two. And the Raiders are going to get a new set of downs. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. So first and 10 now from the 30. From the gun, Carr. And it's the right side here, complete. Carr, that one good for 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? Not like any of them, especially if it's a good receiver. That makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, Something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open. That makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. Able to get away. That's why you keep the legs churning. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. They certainly thought they had him surrounded and probably thought they were going to get him on the ground and get the sack, but he was able to elude that. And even though it threw it incomplete downfield, if you're a defensive back, you're loving the pressure that you're seeing from your front. The battle in the trenches never more important than right now. This is third and inches. Now a carry for Jacobs. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. That's good. 
Just a one-yard pickup on the play, and the Raiders are going to get a new set of downs. Brandon, unfortunately, I've been here before. They've had two opportunities to stop them, so this is demoralizing. They haven't gotten it done. Now you're calling all your blitzes, all your attack defenses, but you're not worried about playing your normal position. You're going to take chances now. Well, you said it. Two third-down opportunities to get off the field. Couldn't do it, and the clock continues to roll. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Operating from the gun. Carr. And Waller taking it in over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Give them 12 yards that time at a Las Vegas first. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one-score game. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Carr completes it. Seven yards to pick up there. That completion helps out in a nice way. Now they can take a little bit more time, but guess what? They've got to make sure on their throws that they see it open, not just anticipate it. The Raiders try to move quickly, try to get everybody back to the line. Now Carr. It's complete left side to Aguilar. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 28. Give them 12 yards that time at a Las Vegas first. Pardon, you got to like what they're doing right there. Little by little, they're getting closer. Another good pickup. First down now, but that clock rolling. Carr to throw. And he's got the hook up to Ruggs. Seven yards to pick up on the pitch and catch. It drives some people crazy to see those short throws underneath. They've got to find a way to gash the defense downfield. At the 21-yard line. Carr signaling to his guys, let's go, let's go here. Back to throw. situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his home. Got to totally command and make sure all eyes are on him. All focus is locked in. Got to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. Carr going to try and throw on third down. Time. That's what you want in the two-minute drill, but the coverage equally is good. Yeah, I'd say it's protection both sides, right? Get it for the quarterback, make sure you have time to throw the football, and he did. Plenty of time, but nowhere to go with it downfield. So the coverage, as you noted, terrific. And he won't get there. They stop him a few yards short of the line to gain. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Ravens are going to get the football back. And defensively, they were ready for that. A full-on blitz on fourth down, and they stop them short of the marker. Oh, and someone's got to feel really good about that, and that's the defensive coordinator. He dialed up a great run blitz defense, and they hit it just right. Stack that thing up. They're going to feel awesome going to the bench after that big play. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. And three timeouts remaining here defensively, but really not much reason to use them at this point as this one is all but over. If they use the timeouts here, it's strictly for show. We got a plane to catch. The drive will commence with a run by J.K. Dobbins. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as he'll stop it with 27 seconds showing on the clock. Another run 
scouting situation on the doorstep as they come up second and ten. Jackson going to give this one to Edwards. And a short gain there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in the game. more with Edwards and he is going to have the first down and that is going to suck the life right out of this crowd now the Raiders going to burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go from the 32 now here's first and 10 Down to Anigo's Jackson, and that should seal it. I don't know about you, partner, but watching them take the knee there and finish this one off, I feel like I'm going to be sore tomorrow. This was one bruising affair. Low scoring, but my kind of football. Not a work of art, but maybe in your world, a little bit of a work of art. You like the defensive side. I thought it was pretty. I can't help myself. I thought it was pretty. And it ends in a kneel down as the clock rolls down to zeros. So the final seconds tick away in this Baltimore victory. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say good night from Las Vegas.